Okay, so maybe this is your story. You don't want to welcome a passenger into your car because... Well, it's a mess. <laughs> Thank goodness our pro organizer, Amy Payne, is here with her trash bag to help us get started. Good morning. Oh, I forgot the trash bag. Well, we've got one over there. Okay. <laughs> if you need it. Good morning. <laughs> All right. So we do. We live in our cars. Yes. We do. Yes. And it just kind of is, you know, whatever. Ma mine is full of masks. Yes. And hand sanitizer right. and wipes and things like that. True. Yes. I think the key word you said is bag. Bag. Bags yes. for everything. Bag okay. for the trash. One of the tips is when you get to a gas station, you have to get out of your car anyway to pump gas. There's usually a trash can nearby. Perfect time. Overflowing generally. Yeah. Yes. Generally. <laughs> so I keep a little skinny trash can in my car with a little trash bag in it. And then when I need to, I take the little trash bag out. And then the new trash bags are in the bottom of the can. I do that too. Put oh. a new trash bag in. So yeah. that gas station tip get that trash out of the car, get in the habit of every time you get out of your car at home, take all of your cups and everything with you. Any and that is just it, isn't it? Just get in the habit of it because yes. you got your, you've got your purse, which is usually, you know, the size right. of that chair full of stuff <laughs> and then grocery bags or right. your lunch bag from work right. and you just kind of go, I'll get that right. later. But I do recommend packing bags for specific purposes. Okay. So I have a work bag, my organizing bag that I take with me to every client and I've started leaving it in my trunk. There's nothing I need in my house, but I need it every time I go to a client's house. Okay. So I leave it in my trunk. I have a bag that's permanently packed for when I go to the gym. So all I have to do is grab that bag, put it in the car, it's ready to go. It has everything I need if I need a shower, if I'm swimming, whatever, at the right. gym, has all the stuff I need. Um, sports. When our kids were doing sports, we had a big bag that had the little hand warmers, it had a blanket, it had a poncho, it had water bottles, it had extra mouth guards, all the things that you might need for a sporting event. Mother of the year right and there. And we I'm would going. leave it in the car most of the time, or if we needed the trunk space, we would set it on a shelf in the garage or in the laundry room, which is where we enter our house. And that's always so convenient if you can do that, have right. a mother room and go in the laundry room right. and get rid of everything. Well, okay, so size of car matters too, if you've got a little car. I drive a, a big... VW Bug. Oh, do you? Okay, so, so you, you've, got, you've got a little one. <laughs> I do have a tiny car, so it is possible to keep your stuff in there. Also during spring, when the weather goes, you know, Ron, when the weather goes from hot to cold to hot to cold, I don't like wearing coats on me a regular either, basis, so I just chuck one in the back seat, keep it with me. That way, if I broke down on the side of the road, I have it, but I don't have to wear it. You know, one of my problems is, and I'm sure you all share this, I have an, uh, several umbrellas. Right. I take one from the house to the car when it's pouring down rain, right. but then I don't come back in with it. Right. So I never, it's never where I want it to be. Yeah. So my, I usually just own. leave one in the car, and then if I happen, I just try to make sure there's always one the left extra in the car. Yes. To go. So we can do it. It's just getting started. Just it is, started. and it really is about habits. Just get in the habit of knowing, ha designate a spot in the car for each of the things that you need to keep in the car and make sure it gets back put back in its spot okay. so that you know Audrey Walker my producer are you listening <laughs>